What is up guys, it's Irrelevant here back with another video and in today's video I'm going to be telling you the best OBS settings for recording Minecraft gameplay. Now over the last couple months I've been constantly working on my OBS settings to get better quality in my video and I finally hit the jackpot. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you all these OBS settings which you can jot down and hopefully make your videos look a lot better. Anyway, let's jump right into it. Okay, so we've jumped into OBS Studio. And if you haven't got this already, you can just find it on the internet. And it's completely free. And once you've downloaded that, we can go up to File in OBS. Go to Settings. And the first thing you want to do is go to Output. Now once you're in Output mode, you want to set this to Advanced. And then go to Recording. Once you're in recording, what you want to do is have the type of standard, recording path, whatever folder you want to put your videos in. Recording format, you want MP4 because that's what all editors use. Encoder, if you have NVIDIA, then I consider using that. Then rescale output will be 920 by 1080 p Moving down a bit, what you want to do is you want to have the rate control as CBR. You can control the bit rate and then set the bit rate to about 60,000 or something and then have keyframe interval to two go down to preset go max performance but if you do have a very low end device consider going down to performance but anyway this is what we're going to do and then um profile you want high and then it doesn't matter about this so once you've done this what you want to do is go down to the video setting and this is where it's very important let me just say that again important so what you do is you want to have the base canvas of about 920 by 1080p and then output scale resolution 920 by 1080p so this means if you have it high resolution it's so much better for youtube once you've actually rendered it in your editing app we then move on to downscale filter i have bilinear fastest but blurry of scaling and then this is also very important, the integer FPS value. So this, what you want to do is probably load up Minecraft and then check what your normal FPS is and then half it and use that as your FPS for your video. And once you've done that, we move on to advanced. What you want to do is you want to have the process priority as high, not above normal, not normal, high. Then renderer, direct 3D 11, color format, if you have the NVIDIA one, then go for this. Color space, 709. Color range, partial. And then all of this doesn't really matter down here. Once you've done that, you can click apply, OK, and you're done. Anyway, guys, before we leave the video there, I think we'll quickly play one game of Bear Balls. So let's quickly get into that. And as I'm playing, I'll be able to show you a little bit of what the settings actually look like once rendered. So you get the idea. God, I have not played Bed Wars in a hot minute. Jesus. Anyway, we at least try to play. Okay, I've not forgotten how to speed bridge. And we just quickly go get some diamonds. Right, I can see yellow going for me. This ain't too good. Okay, come on. Easy. Right, we'll quickly get some armor. Ah, uh, no, please don't. Okay, and we're now going to go for yellow. Okay, yellow's bed is apparently gone, but we've got white here. Ah. Uh, easy. I think we go back to our base, actually. Also, guys, if you have made it this far in the video, you're in luck. Because if I go into settings and I go into performance... You need these two settings on for OBS to work properly and have smooth FPS when you're playing. So yeah, you're lucky if you watch the end of the video, I guess. Right, someone's coming to my base. Okay, it's apparently white. Oldest trick in the book. Quickly just get an old golden apple. Okay, that's very not good for me. Oh god, oh no, I'm stupid. <laughs> 